it's so it's so frustrating that there's just there's just not this interest in or there's a lip service paid to uh, about kind of the spirituality aspect of consciousness and people like to talk about being like ascended masters or light beings there's all this like romanticism and spirituality about consciousness when to me i'm like well how does it work what's it doing like how does it and if there's access to higher states i think that was the thing to me about the first time taking psychedelics and once you start taking you know you, you access this part of your brain and you're like what's what's happening here how am i having access to contemplative states that i didn't ever have access to i'm, I'm able to think about things and contemplate things that mental imagery in my third eye is now a vast vista of uh, that i can that i didn't know existed before so how does that work and how do we get to that point? And if, if there's these mystery traditions and esoteric traditions of uh, the priestcraft or shaman and they're accessing these states of knowing, then let's get to the heart of how they're doing that. And how does that work in the body? And how does, and, 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 and I think from my own uh, hobby that I've had researching this stuff, it turns out that it's not some spirituality woo woo thing, but it's neurophysiology. It has to do with the fact of the of the the components of the the hormonal quality of the blood, the the quality of the cerebrospinal fluid, all of those things that are the the the, the fluidity that is involved in the human body and the physiology of the human body changes that you know the the perspective of the biology.